Hey guys, this video is about removing the headlight on third generation of Lexus GS models. But before you can do that, you have to remove the uh, front bumper. So if you haven't, please go look at the uh, how to remove the front bumper. The link is provided in the description below. So by now, I assume that you have safely removed the uh, front bumper. So I'm gonna remove the uh, right front headlight and it looks like I'll have to remove this. I did that and then this one here, I removed. This is a long one with the washer. And then you got another one over here. You just lift up and pull it out this way. And what's holding it is, if you look inside there, you see that clip? It slides underneath it. So you need to kind of push it out this way while lifting it up. And then you got one more bolt hiding here. And this is the short one. It's got a little bit of a lip here. By the way, all these were 10 millimeter. On the side here, I took out this bolt. After that, looks like you see the gap here. I pulled it out a little bit. Looks like it's uh, wanting to come out. To get some access room here, we're gonna have to remove this uh, air, air filter box. Four clips. You got one, two, three. There's one in the back here. Okay, pop those off. And then this is the mass airflow uh, sensor. So you're gonna press down here and then pull this out. Loosen this clamp a little bit or you can use a 10 millimeter there. One more thing. On the side here, there's a clip that's holding on to the uh, mass airflow sensor uh, cable. Just pull it out. You can remove the top part of the uh, air filter box and we already loosened one bolt there. Looks like we're gonna have to loosen another one here and here. Note that the long bolt that came off of here, down there, and here, they're the long 10 millimeter bolts. This clip is not coming out easily, but it turns out you don't need to take it out because I pulled this out from here. And once that's pulled out, you can just fold this up and out of the way. And now you have plenty of space to go in here. I pulled out the headlight as much as I can uh, without pulling on the, uh, the wires, uh, just so that I can see the uh, how to disconnect these things. Looks like this one. So you just push down here and then just pull it out. And then remember, this is your city light. It's that tiny light. This is your standard uh, high beam light right there. And then you see the uh, tiny light bulb up there. I think they call that city light. For that one, you just twist it like this and then, and then pull it out. We're gonna try not to touch the light bulb, okay? Okay, now this here is for this uh, headlight washer. Now you just gotta pull that out, but before you pull it out, you see these uh, markings here? So it's on both sides. So what you wanna do is squeeze that, okay? Squeeze it, and then you pull this out. Okay, so you got a couple of connectors here. Okay, just have to push down here really, really hard. <laughs> this thing is really sturdy. Push down really hard and pull it out of there, okay? And then same thing for this one. All right, so that still doesn't get the headlight out. Ah. Those two, this is the one that went to the uh, that city light. These two wires here, those are the ones that we just disconnected. But as you can see, it's still held on here with the clip. Okay, so I used one of these here, okay, to squeeze here, and then just pull it out. So that, that came off quite easy. We got one more wire here, and I think that's for the uh, side marker light here. So just gotta disconnect this, and I think headlight will come off. Okay, so 
if you look from here, you see this thing coming down? Okay, right underneath, there's a screw here. Okay, so that's gotta come out. That's the last thing holding the headlight. Okay, so I got the screw out from here, from underneath. So this part's loose, but looks like if you look inside, there's one more screw there. Actually, it's easier to see that other screw from this side. Okay, so here's the ballast. Don't get confused with the uh, screws for the uh, ballast. Past the, uh, the ballast, there's another screw here. Okay, that's, so that's the one. So it's the same size screw. Man, this is like a maze. I just keep disconnecting, disconnecting. So anyway, here's one more. Okay, this is the uh, side marker light. So uh, just turn it this way and pull that out. I'm trying to do this holding the camera and trying to hold the headlight from falling. Okay, so I'm gonna have to slide these uh, out of this bracket. Okay, so I just pull this out uh, from here, okay? So it's basically, instead of, normally you push down on a tab, but this one, I had to lift up on this tab and then pull this up. I couldn't get it to slide by hand, so I stuck a screwdriver on this side and kind of wedged it up, so I mangled the uh, plastic here a little bit. Okay, and this is the shorter wire that came off here. I'm just documenting for my future reinstallation. And then the long wire uh, comes off of here. So this thing right here, it's what's stuck in there. So you gotta kind of lift up on it and then pull this out, but it's not coming out easily. So I'm gonna jam a screwdriver in here and try to twist it and try to get it to uh, push out. That is the last thing that is holding the headlight. Okay, finally got this one wedged out. Um, so it looks like this is the uh, little bit lighter color that goes out here and that darker gray color goes in here. Uh, I'm telling you, it, it didn't slide out easily. So it took some force. But the headlight is completely loose. All right, so let's kind of recap because I'm not even sure. I'm gonna memorize everything. Okay, remember this is the uh, power, uh, the, the washer for your headlight. Okay, you squeeze that and pull that out. So this is what you have. Now, I'm wondering if you could actually disconnect from here and leave all the other connections in. I, I did try to disconnect this and I broke a piece of plastic and uh, that wasn't as clear to get out uh, because I only had visibility to one side and I couldn't see the other side to take it out, I see. I see, now that I know, maybe, I mean, if you guys want, you guys could try that. Maybe if you disconnect this, uh, looks like you could leave all these connectors in there. Okay, so that, that might be actually easier. And to get this out, looks like you got two clips here, and this is another clip, and then, this is the side that I was looking at, and this side was not visible to me at the time because of the headlight. It looks like you got the uh, two clips here. So that, you guys might try that first. 
Okay, because if you do, then you don't have to disassemble so many things here. So look at all the things you gotta take apart. You gotta take apart the bumper and a bunch of wiring connections to get the uh, head out of, headlight assembly out. So this is not your quick one hour job. You know, when this headlight is on the car, you think it's small, but this is my breakfast table. I mean, it's, it's filling up the whole one edge of the breakfast table. This thing is gigantic sitting inside the house. So, see this leveler thing. I need to read about this. Uh, I feel like my headlight is pointing down a little bit and maybe this is the one that is adjusting it. So on the next video, I'll go through the uh, some of the investigation and steps I've taken in attempt to replace the uh, headlight ballast. And it was uh, very tricky. I had to try four different methods. Three uh, failed, I ran into the dead end. And the fourth one is working out for me. So I have some of the video partially uh, taken and recorded. So I still need to work on that video. So uh, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.